Welcome back guys. This is going to be a valiant attempt at telling the story of day one through three here in Costa Rica. And just to give you a little bit of background, if you're new or haven't been following, this is Veronica and my honeymoon. And we just got married six days ago. And again, we're staying here in Costa Rica at the W Resort in Guanacosta province of Costa Rica, more specifically, Playa Conchal. All of this is in notes because we definitely want to tell the story right and we don't want to leave anything out, okay? We booked this trip through Costco, which turned out to be the best option for a honeymoon. This next part of the story definitely has to be told now. When we got on the airport from LAX to Costa Rica, a couple asked us if we could switch seats to have the whole family sit together. So we obliged. We ended up meeting a lady we should not have even sat next to. We struck up a conversation and found out her son-in-law charters his boat for tours. We kept in touch and you'll see what happens in the later part of this video. So here it is, day one. We'll call this the acclimation. The weather is very humid and ranges from the low 80s to the 90s. Our stay is very nice including a living room that opens up to an amazing view. This first day was mainly to get our bearings and meet with Costco's representative to find out what excursions we would like to do. Once we figured out what excursions we wanted to plan for our trip, Veronica decided to get a massage, which opened up the opportunity to fish. Upon reaching the beach, it was evident we were not in California anymore. The variety of species and terrain is so different yet so similar to what we're used to. One reason it's probably similar is because we're still on the Pacific Ocean side of Costa Rica. There is a Pacific side and a Caribbean side. Needless to say, I did skunk. However, the old college tribe was definitely given. Day two consisted of animals and scouting. We started the morning with a one hour trip to Palos Verde. It's an animal sanctuary slash protected forest adjoining private land. This is where they do boat tours to highlight the animals. Here, we saw various species of heron and egrets, as well as some really cool reptiles like basilisk lizards, iguanas, and crocodiles. We also got to see a very cool species of insect-eating bats, and we saw multiple troops of monkeys. This part of our trip was definitely unforgettable. Once we got back to the W, we decided to take a long walk on the beach on the way to a tackle store. Maybe three miles away from our hotel and we're walking this beachfront and look what's in front of us. As we approached the city where the tackle store was, we scouted plenty of birds diving for bait fish. It was painful not to have a rod in hand, but it definitely showed promise for a future session. The morning started off back to the place we saw the diving birds. It was about a two and a half mile walk from our hotel to the casting spots. There was a lot of birds diving as well as fish busting on the surface. It seems as though none of the big game were out to play. Most of the locals were using hand lines to catch game fish. It seems as though the lures we brought were not the right ones for the situation, but it was a really great experience to see how the locals fish. They would sit and watch until the big fish busted right at the beach and they would sprint to the water's edge and start casting their lines like lassos. It is not too far different from what we do back at home on the surf. You can tell there is a great camaraderie in the fishing community here. Fishing has no language barrier. Later that afternoon, we caught a ride to a neighboring village where Denise, the lady we met on the plane, set up a trip with her son-in-law. We got onto a ponga to board the Costa Vida tour ship. There we set off with Veronica, Denise, Luke. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Luke. Oh, uh, you know, just doing some fishing here in Pura Vida land. That's Denise's son-in-law, Holly, Denise's daughter, and Ashley, Holly's friend. Oh, this is the one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Captain Dan. Yeah. She feels it. That's what fishing <laughs> is. It's feeling. Really feeling really? Yeah. Oh. That's what I've been told. The fish can feel the vibration down the line all the way to the lure. The positive energies that go through the line, into the water, and watch. So guys, if you're ever in Costa Rica, or want to be, 
you guys gotta hit up Luke. His Instagram handle is at Costa Vida Tours. Yeah, so if you guys are looking to fish or spend a day on some kayaks or around the rocks, this is this is the way to do it right here. How many people does this boat hold? Up to 20. Wow. Yep, 20 people. The private tours are up to 15, so it depends on what it is, what's booked. A few overnight trips as well. Wow. Yeah, that's right. He's got a bunk down there too, so. Yeah, we'll see if we can hook up, but if not, it's already just been a really fun trip so far, just being out on the deep ocean on the very southern Pacific. We started off towards the Catalina Islands. Everything was so surreal. Hanging around new friends in a beautiful location, nothing can beat it. On the way out, we set up some lines. After not getting any action, Captain Danny suggested deep diving Rapalas because our surface lures were not getting touched. This immediately paid off with a nice catch, a bonito. Got a fish. Got a fish, guys. Oh, yeah. A fish. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh, the Woo. Yeah. Nice! Got him on the Rapala. Good job, Danny. Thank yeah. you. Good job, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Telling us what to do, what to use. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's still there. Still there? Oh, he's there. Mackerel? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Feels like a tuna. Wow, good job, honey. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a bonito. It's a bonito. Nice. Oh yeah. Got him. <laughs> Success, pura vida. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Wow. Do you guys want to make sashimi or what do you guys want to do? Ooh! Yay! Oh my gosh. You, get, you, you got a bonita. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. That was all you. <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, releasing him. All right, buddy. Everyone's gonna enjoy in this beautiful cove here. It's gorgeous. Look at that. This cove is out of this world. Yeah. Beans are out of this food is out of this world. What do you think, honey? What is this? Some ceviche. Ceviche? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Say it. Puro vida. So good. <laughs> Holly laid out an amazing spread. She made a homemade bean dip, some guacamole and some ceviche, all of which was amazing. They also had Pilsen beer and sangria for the ladies. The sangria was also homemade. Veronica ended up going kayaking with Denise and they started snorkeling as well. Captain Danny suggested that while the girls enjoy the boat and the cove, that we take the ponga to do a little bit more trolling. With 29 years of experience captaining boats in the area, it was impossible to say no to that. Let's do it, let's do it. Honey, I'm, I'll be back. I'm going fishing. All right, Danny, we're doing it. From the big boat to the small boat. Oh. Awesome. This is epic. I'll come, yeah, yeah, I'll come. But uh, I need a beer, so. Oh yes, please. Some beer? Yeah. 
Se presta? No. No? no. For me, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, true. Professional. Hey. Yeah. Nope. Gracias, Danny. We ended up seeing a pod of dolphins, and as we followed it, we ended up hooking up onto a very nice needlefish. Awesome. Fish on. We're here in Costa Rica. We got Captain Danny. Trying to pull in the other line. He's swimming this way. Is he swimming towards you? Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Oh, oh it's a uh, needlefish. That's cool. We'll get a quick pick and then send him on his way. Look at, that. Look at those teeth. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. He's a he's a yard, a yard long. Oh yeah. Thank you, Captain Danny. Alright, letting him go. Woo! We continue to enjoy the setting all together. After another panga ride, we did a little bit of snorkeling and saw some more wildlife up close. As the sun started to set, we started our trip back. This whole experience has been so surreal. We cannot recommend Costa Vida tours enough. Luke catered our best day in Costa Rica yet. Nothing like some golden hour fishing right now. This is uh, marketed as a sunset cruise, but it's been like sunset. It's well, so far it's happening right now. We've got on some fish, which was an added bonus. We had some amazing ceviche, the ahali, amazing, amazing. And we even got some snorkeling in, amazing. Yeah. All this was possible through Denise and our divine meeting on that airplane. It is definitely a great lesson and why you should always be nice to others and start conversations when you can because you never know what adventures lie ahead when you do. We not only were able to share amazing moments, but we made some really great new friends. On our way back, just as the sun was setting, we realized we had another fish on. It was a nice Sierra mackerel that bit the Rapala. But it's okay. We'll be able to get it off. Oh, cool. We've just been dragging this poor guy. Nice. Whoa, what is that one? Comida. Ooh, what is that? Mm, mackerel. Got him twice. What is that? <laughs> He's tired. We've been dragging him all day. Beautiful. That is yeah. a beautiful fish. Whoa, whoa. Uh, got him, got him. Hold yeah. Nice. Let me get a picture of He's got the most contagious smile. <laughs> All right, Luke, get in this with us. Danny. All right, we're getting demonetized. That thing bit me. So, got a, got a gusher. Oh, that's oh a nice yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right, we'll just keep pressure on it. Again, we're very thankful for the divine appointment with Denise that led to this amazing experience. When we got back to the resort, we gave our mackerel to the chefs at the kitchen and they will prepare it for lunch the following day. It will make two different dishes, ceviche and grilled Sierra mackerel. So stay tuned. Awesome. So what are we doing? They're gonna cook it for us and we get to have it for lunch tomorrow. So it's perfect. Where did you get it? Flamingo? Uh, no, well, we were we were around Catalina Island. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, guys. Danta Beach and the Pita, all those places are really good. We were we were on a friend's boat. Until the next episode, guys. Pura